There are different ways to measure liquid. For example, if you were making a cake, you might measure cups of milk, tablespoons of oil, and teaspoons of vanilla. But this is science class, so we're going to measure using the metric system. In the metric system, the base unit of volume is called the liter. You might be familiar with liters because we buy sodas often in two liter bottles. But we're going to be using a lot less liquid than a liter, so we're going to use an even smaller unit of measure called the milliliter. Notice that there's the root word liter in it. That's because the milliliter is based on the measurement the liter. That prefix milli means one one thousandth. So there are one thousand milliliters in a liter, which means that this two liter bottle can contain two thousand liters. To do our measurements, we're going to use a tool called a graduated cylinder. When you're using a graduated cylinder to measure liquid, make sure first that you have it on a level surface. Pour in the liquid, and to measure the amount of liquid that you have put in, you want to look directly at the side. So from here, you can see that I have a little over 51 milliliters of liquid. If I look from above, it looks like I have 52 milliliters. If I look from below, it looks like I have exactly at or slightly less than 51. So where I look changes my measurement. It is important that you look straight on at the level of the liquid. In some instances, you will notice that the liquid curves at the edges. If you see a curve, you want to measure from the bottom of the curve. This curve is called the meniscus. If you find that you have more liquid than you need, never, never, never dump that liquid back into the original container. This can contaminate the original container if there happen to be any chemicals left in the graduated cylinder that you didn't realize were there. So please pour out your excess liquid either into a discard container or pour it outside depending on what is appropriate.